Once in every career, if you're lucky, you'll find a job that's more like being with your family than being at work. The people are more than just co-workers, and the work is more than just a job. For those of us that make up the Support Services Division, this is our home, and you're all part of our family. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our house. The City of Pleasanton is home to more than 350 vehicles and pieces of equipment, and all of those are serviced by the Support Services Automotive Division. This division is second to none in its ability to specify, service, and maintain the city's vastly diverse fleet. From fire trucks and police cars to ride-on mowers and generators and everything in between. The support services mechanics are some of the best trained and equipped personnel working in the automotive industry today. From light repairs on cars to major overhauls on heavy equipment, the shop can handle it all. One of the more challenging types of work that goes on in the shop are fire trucks. Each rig is a custom-built apparatus designed to do a specific job. Because they're all custom, the knowledge and skill that's required to work on these complicated pieces of public safety equipment takes years to acquire. This highly skilled job is carried out by a group of technicians that far exceed the industry standard. There can be no second best when it comes to someone's life depending on a piece of equipment. One of the less visible but most important tasks that the shop handles are the complex rules and regulations for exhaust gas emissions. The California Air Resources Board, the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, and the Bureau of Automotive Repair all have jurisdiction over the emissions of the fleet. As you can imagine, wading through all of that regulation is quite a task. In addition to working on emissions regulations, the shop also works to reduce emissions by specifying and purchasing alternative fuel vehicles to meet the City of Pleasanton's Climate Action Plan for Carbon Footprint Reduction. All of the operations of the city depend on the work that goes on in this shop. Hydro excavators, backhoes, towable compressors, ride-on mowers, leaf loaders, police cars, paratransit buses, and just about anything else you can imagine are serviced by this talented group. From the moment a piece of equipment enters the shop, every aspect of the operation of that vehicle is captured and entered into our computerized maintenance management system. This information allows us to make informed decisions regarding vehicle replacement schedules, future maintenance needs, and the operating costs of the fleet. Having this information at our fingertips allows us to use predictive and preventative maintenance techniques to their fullest advantage, permitting us to manage the fleet in the most responsible manner possible. In 2006, the City of Pleasanton's Automotive Maintenance Facility earned the title of Certified Green Business. Every aspect of automotive repair is carried out in the most environmentally responsible way possible. The shop produces almost no waste and everything is recycled, from cardboard to motor oil and from antifreeze to tires. We're very proud to operate our shop as a green business. One of the biggest investments the City of Pleasanton has are its 136 buildings. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of structures are the responsibility of the Support Services Facilities Division. This division is staffed by an extremely talented group of dedicated employees who take great pride in maintaining one of the best cities in the West. To maintain a city this size and to know that you can continue to maintain it long into the future requires some pretty good planning. A lot of effort is put into planning for today and for the next 20 years of maintenance. Every item in all of the 136 buildings is recorded, given a useful life expectancy, and a planned replacement date. Having all of these assets accounted for for the next 20 years and beyond will make sure that those that follow us will be able to ensure the city stays one of the best places to live in the country. A building is more than a roof and some walls. The Support Services Division has the responsibility from the foundation up. That includes floor coverings, windows, doors, wall coverings, wall finishes, lighting, HVAC, reflected ceilings, signage, sewer and water lines, interior finishes, restrooms, energy conservation projects, and so much more. Not only do we maintain the structures, but we continually improve them by remodeling the spaces to meet the changing needs of our customers and to keep the look and the feel of the facilities up to date. 
The room you're meeting in is a good example of just that. The Remillard Conference Room was a record storage facility until 2012. Along with maintaining the buildings, we're also called upon to help with the design phase of all new construction. Our input on what goes into a building and how it will be maintained is invaluable to the life of the structure. Being a part of the design from the beginning ensures the Support Services Division will be able to maintain the structure and have intimate knowledge of how it went together for future repairs. Because of the wide range of talents present in the division, the Support Services staff is often tasked with insourcing a project rather than have an outside contractor do the work. A good example of this and a source of great pride for the entire division was the refurbishing of the Main Street sign. In 2005, the Support Services Division coordinated a citywide effort to remove the sign and refurbish both sides one at a time. The 84-year-old sign is the city's landmark, and everyone that worked on that project took great pride in the job. One of the biggest projects we worked on, and a source of great pride, was the donation of a wolf range to the New York City's fire station 1010 at Ground Zero. The fire station was partially destroyed on September 11, 2001 with the collapse of the World Trade Center directly across the street. Support Services was honored to be allowed to be part of the Ground Zero Fire Station Reconstruction Project in 2003 with a donation of a custom-built fire-themed stove for their new kitchen. Working on a project that was part of a worldwide event was about as humbling and exhilarating experience as one could ever imagine. So as you can see, the Support Services Division has a strong commitment to the community and to all those that call this place home.